In today's video, I have 10 brand new spring Dollar Tree DIYs for you. This is part of my annual collab with my good friend Kristen Kay. Every season we like to collab, share 10 new projects each, so be sure to check out her channel. I will link it down below and let's get into it. So the first DIY is gonna be this fun boho bunny wreath. So excited to find this bunny wreath form. Let me know in the comments if you have found this at Dollar Tree. I was so excited. So what I did was I just pre-cut some macrame cord. I will have in the description box below my favorite macrame cord. I get it off Amazon. Um, and I wasn't sure how long I needed the pieces. I originally cut them too long. So I would say these are about four to five inches. It depends how long you want the fringe to be. But basically you're just gonna fold those pieces in half and you are gonna loop them through with a lark's head knot for all of the ears. This took some time, but it works up pretty quick. So you're gonna do this for both of the bunny ears. Let me know in the comments when you are going to start decorating for spring or Easter. I know Easter is a little later this year, but I'm just so over the cold and I think I'm going to decorate for spring at least like soon. So once I had both the ears done, I took some of this ribbon. I got this on clearance after Christmas at, I don't remember now if it was Hobby Lobby or Walmart, but any ribbon will do, or you can go around with the macrame cord. I just wanted a nice pattern, and I felt like this looked really nice. Now, I sped this up because basically I just wrapped it. The big thing with this, with using a ribbon, is just make sure that you use some hot glue and you secure it once you are done wrapping. I feel like this bunny needed a flower crown so I'm taking some of these Valentine's um, velvet flowers from the Dollar Tree. I ended up using two packs because I just wanted the light. I just felt like the purple was reminding me of like Barney a bit. So I just arranged them, hot glued them. You can also totally use just regular Dollar Tree florals but I liked the look. Did I say velvet? before I think these are felt they're not velvet I don't know why I said that but I like the look of these so that's what I went with now a step that you don't want to miss with this is brushing out the macrame cord it looks kind of silly and floppy just having the cord as is so I'm taking a Dollar Tree brush and I am just carefully brushing you don't want to brush too hard to like kind of unravel everything but you want to do enough that it's fringed and then you can trim it the ears once you are done fringing out all the cord so fun nice and boho easy to make and i really love the way that this turned out let me know what you think in the comments Like I said, this is a collab with my good friend Kristen Kay. We always like to share 10 new projects per every DIY season. So her video will be in the description box below. I absolutely love Kristen and I'm sure you all know her already. I probably already love her, but go check out her channel. Send her some love, let her know that I sent you. And if you are stopping by from Kristen's channel, hello and welcome. Okay, next project is these cute monogram charms for like an Easter basket. So I needed an O and an L, but I got a C and L. We're gonna hack it, make it an O. Um, these are so cute. I have not seen these before at the Dollar Tree. I instantly knew that these would be great for my girl's Easter baskets. So to make that C and O, I am going to add some craft sticks. I'll be covering them with some butterfly stickers so you won't see the craft sticks, but I just needed something to kind of close up that C. And then for both of them, I went ahead and painted with some white chalk paint. I did the front, the back, the side, so everything was nice and covered.
these really fun butterfly stickers at Dollar Tree. They have stripes, they have a leopard print to them. Um, so I thought these would be cute. I did add some hot glue just to make sure that they really stay on. Since these will be going on my girls' Easter baskets, I just wanted to make sure that they had, you know, more durability. So I added some to both of them and I think it's a nice just spring accent. I do want to add there's a lot of different things you can do to this I just wanted to keep it simple and I think the pop of color from the stickers against the white is just fun these are really cute and easy to make and I hope to use these the next couple years as just nice charms for my girls Easter baskets and let them know which basket is whose Next two projects are going to be floral involved themed. I'm going to take some of these pink roses. Now I'm actually going to build off of a project that I shared recently. So I did an upcycle video. I took this large coffee can and I painted it with some black spray paint and then I added some of these fun leopard kind of leather sticker panels from Dollar Tree. Have you seen these yet? Because I love them. I've noticed that my Dollar Tree has been getting a lot more stickers in and I love adding them to projects. So I had added this to the can and this is just a fun way to display the florals. Now originally in the video, I shared how to just make it a prettier looking coffee can as you see here. And if you're interested in that video, I will link it down below or put it up in the cards. But I just wanted to show you a fun way that you could take some Dollar Tree florals and have them styled. Next up, I have a really pretty printable that kind of goes along with this rose and floral theme. So that will be in the description box below. I'm just putting it in an eight by 10 frame from Dollar Tree. Now, if you notice that the print is a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna take that insert from the frame and then make sure that I trim it so that it fits in the frame. Now, you can obviously use the backing that comes with the picture frame, but I decided to go ahead and use one of the easels from the Crafter Square section. I love them. I use them in my bookcase video for some of the art that I displayed. I think they just make everything look a little bit more polished, fun. So that was optional, but I thought it looked really nice against the printable, which again will be in the description box below. I have three more printables for you for these little tabletop or tear tray signs. So this is a sign I've had just laying around in my craft room from Christmas and then I've had this one also. So any of the kind of oddly shaped signs from Dollar Tree will do for this or just a regular one. So for this barn piece, I am just kind of bending or folding, pressing, whatever you want to call it, um, just to get the groove of the roof of the barn. Um, and then I'm going to make my cuts. Now you'll see I kind of have that imprinted so I know where to cut. Um, and then I decided to, once I had everything trimmed, to paint the bottom of the barn white just because the printable was a little bit thinly cut the way that I did it. Um, if you cut it without seeing that, you don't have to, but I do recommend painting the sides white. That way they don't show through. And I think this is just a really pretty easy sign, perfect for like a bookshelf, a tabletop, or a tear tray. Next printable is for that Christmas sign. It's like a little globe, so I just went ahead and traced it, and then I did already cut some of the peel and stick wallpaper that Dollar Tree has. You can also use scrapbook paper just to kind of give this a base that I can layer that printable on. I love this peel and stick wallpaper. Um, I used it in my bookcase redo video, which I will have linked down below. It's so pretty, and honestly, it's such good quality, like you'd never guess it's a dollar 
or $1.25. So I went ahead, added that, and then we're just gonna take a glue stick and add that printable on top. Now this sign did come with some twine. I just reapplied that and hot glued the little bow. And that was it for this really easy, cute spring sign. Also have this cross printable which will be down below in the description box I love switching out printables in these Dollar Tree wood bead small signs so I always like to do a printable for each season if I remember for those so these will all be in the description box below Up, we're gonna make some really fun and easy coasters so Dollar Tree has these cute wood bunny and wood egg um, cutouts so I decided to take some leftover peel and stick wallpaper I just added this to the accent wall in my living room and I like using the peel and stick wallpaper as a coaster top because if it gets wet it's not gonna mess up the wood the same way it would if you just painted it now of course if you paint these or stain these and you want to use them as a functional coaster I highly recommend um, finishing them with a top coat so that they're protected but this is a great little hack if you just don't feel like dealing with stain and that whole process of sealing it you could just take some peel and stick wallpaper I recommend using a thicker good quality wallpaper and you just trace cut and go and make sure that the edges um, line up that's what I'm doing here just trimming kind of smoothing everything out but I thought this made it a lot more fun kind of boho looking which I go for and I did this for the bunny as well as the egg cutout And next up, we're going to do this little bunny chalkboard, menu chalkboard, whatever you want to call it. So I take one of these wood cutouts. Now I'm going to build on a recent video that I did. I had did a Kirkland's dupe. I faux stained this and painted this bunny. So I'm going to add one of the Dollar Tree Crafter Square chalkboards to this. And then I wanted to add that ribbon that we used in the first project just to kind of add a nice pattern and cover up the wood and the little holes. So I just hot glued that on and then I hot glued the chalkboard right onto the bunny. Now I already put tumbling tower blocks on this bunny so that it stands up, um, but that's it. You can do like little messages on this. You could do your Easter menu. Um, I love anything with the chalkboard and this is such an easy, cute project to do with one. project is a great like welcome sign on a door or a wreath insert. So I'm taking one of these wood egg cutouts. Now there are so many things that you could do with these. Um, I decided just to keep this kind of like minimal. I wanted a more boho look. Again, that's more my style, but of course this is just for inspiration. You can paint, stain, whatever you want, whatever colors you like. Um, I'm using the Arteza paint markers. These are the oil markers. Now I will say because this is wood, they run just a little bit. Not a lot, but they do run a little bit. So keep that in mind only on this wood surface. It just kind of acts like a stain and spreads a bit. So I'm using gold for these stripes on the egg. And then I'm just kind of leaving it as is. I did get a little bit of the marker on the actual egg, but real life. So this, I'm using this leftover Christmas sign, but any sign will do, or you could just leave the egg as is. But this I liked because it had the round shape. Um, I wanted to cover it again in some of that peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree, the wood chevron. I'm just obsessed with it. So I trimmed that out and then I did go ahead and paint the bottom just so that it is um, not the MDF board since the peel and stick did not cover that.
Once that is painted, I did two coats. I'm gonna add my peel and stick wallpaper and then I'm gonna hot glue the egg on. I did provide a printable, it has a little welcome sign. That will be in the description box below, but that is it for this project. Super quick and easy, a great just spring door hanger or wreath insert, however you wanna display it. And that is it for this project. So that is it for these 10 spring Easter projects. I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know in the comments which of these was your favorite. I always like to know. And don't forget to check out Kristen's video. I will have that in the description box below. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.